New to the website is this fun to drive 1968 Chevy Camaro. Big block. Really sharp looking car. This thing's a monster. Sounds good. Damn. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it is. And I like this car because it's not perfect, because it's something you can get in, you can squeal the tires, have fun with, you know, drive anywhere you want, you know, and not have to worry about getting a chip in it or. I love this one so much. As soon as I get it off the trailer, yeah, I didn't love the paint body as much as the drivetrain, but I got this off the trailer and I kept going up and down this road like four times. I didn't want to get out of it. It's that much fun awesome. and it just handles awesome. So again, if you're looking for a show winner, this isn't it. If you're looking for a cool Sunday driver, something to roast tires and have a lot of fun, this is your car. Nice. All right, we'll tell them all about it. Okay, so engine bay looks beautiful. We got rear disc brakes and they're Will Woods. We got MSD ignition. Big block 454, power steering. Aluminum radiator. I like the, the looks of this car though with the wheels and tires, the stripes, that's cool. It's a cool. It's got car. a really good stance. I we need to do them wheels again if we you the know. U.S. Mags. Yeah. yeah, I like those a lot. I'm usually not big into the silver middle, but I like it on this one. Make sure you go to our website, CoyoteClassics.com. Check out the undercarriage photos, the trunk photos. Um, but the undercarriage on this is is really solid. And it's just a really good driving car. Um, it's gonna have some bunch of little paint chips and stuff like that, guys. We're not gonna be able to point out everything but it does have some chips. Again, driver quality, cruise night car. Top of the front fender has a few chips on it as well. Um, the guy's buffed it, it's got a really nice shine. Mm -hmm, it does. Um, some little door chips on the middle of the door there. Um, bottom of the door looks good. Bottom of the front fender looks nice. A couple little chips, that's all you see there. A windshield has one tiny, tiny little chip right there. Very small. As far as the, the roof goes, got a painted perfection right there. Um, I mean, the roof looks great, very nice and straight. Um, even here in this sail panel area, a lot of times it, it'll crack right up in here. That's all nice and solid. Looks like there's just a little, tiny little paint right there a couple chips on the quarter on um, back behind the rear wheel super solid it's got nice dual exhaust coming out the back like Dalton said nice stance back bumper is nice got the rear spoiler on it got a couple chips that kind of stuff mm -hmm. but from five ten foot away it looks awesome oh yeah Going down here. the road as the guys have been having it through the shop and taking out and test driving it. It's, every time it goes by, I turn my head because it's, it's a really good looking car going down the road. Yes, it sure is. Um, one of the weak points about the whole car, I think, is the door jam paint. They left that. They never changed that. And it's had a little work done to the bottom corner of the door here. Door panel almost looks original too, don't it? But it's a nice shape. Mm -hmm. Door panel looks good. Um, seats are nice. Got the factory console. Headliner looks to be in really good shape. Dome light works with the switch. Um, it's got the factory GM seat belts in the back. Um, door panels are original, so the bottom of that door panel over there on the uh, driver's side, you can just see the, it's just a little warped on the bottom. Seats are nice. Back shelf looks good. Uh, dash pad is excellent. I don't see any cracks there. It's got an aftermarket Grant steering wheel. See anything, Dalt? Just jump in. Sounds good. Right here at the top of the quarter panel. It's got a crack in the paint right there. Uh, again, roof sail is in really nice shape. Right here, right by the back of the window, it's a little crack, cracking point right here, kind of a stress point. It's got a crack right there in the paint. The wheel well looks nice. Except couple, the imperfections in this is kind of- A couple little bubbles on the bottom of the door. 
the imperfections kind of what make this thing fun. You know, that original patina where you can get it in, drive it, enjoy it, and not have to worry about you know what road you're driving it down. That's how just, I felt about it yeah. when I took it first. Maybe Sometimes, especially time. if the if the drivetrain's nice, I love cars like this and that two tone Chevelle. You know, exactly. I like the really nice stuff too, but that you know you get worried when you're driving that. Yeah, yeah. This is a paint job and a little bit of body work away from a super nice car if you mm -hmm. want it. If you want it that way. Um, driver's side seat, original, does have a little bit of wear right on the cord is all. Other than that, the seams all look really good. Back seat looks great. So as we go through here, we'll just kind of see what works and what doesn't. Just like all the cars, this one went through the whole shop, changed oil, got it all ready to go. Um, we did, during the check-in, we found out that the wiper motor wasn't working. We got a brand new one in the trunk we ordered. So the switch is good, so we'll get that wiper motor in there for you before it gets delivered. Dome light works. Believe it or not, the heater fan works. That's crazy. I'm kind of surprised on that. Um, it's got Bosch gauges, temp gauge works, alternator gauge works, oil pressure gauge is not working. And this, because someone will ask, that's like where the ashtray would have been. Yeah. Um, radio looks like it's gonna work. I don't know if there's any speakers hooked up though. Definitely turns on and I'm guessing the speakers aren't hooked up, dude. Who needs speakers when you got a 396 under there? I don't want to hear speakers. You're exactly right. Gas gauge works. Horn works. Pretty cool. And the thing with it is, like you said before, the steering wheel is awesome. It's for comfort. Yeah. The whole car is for comfort. It just drives awesome. If you own one that has perfect paint, we have those too, but you're yeah. going to spend a lot more money. Yeah, this is just cool. It is. I mean, this has got to be for a guy that wants some good sound and performance. Yep. I already see the gas gauge going down. Mm -hmm. It's not about the miles per gallon. It's all about smiles. Whoa. No, I told you. I told you straight up this is a monster. This thing is fun. No, it's That's insane. Crazy. This is insane. But even that, like, it felt hey. super tight. Yeah, that's what I loved about it. The speedometer's working perfect. It's not rattling. How many old cars you drive like that and they're spitting sputter and going, we're rattling apart. You know, this thing's tight, nice. It's got a great idle to it. Like I said, this thing's some heavy horsepower, isn't yeah. it? Yep. It surprised you, didn't it? Yeah, I was. I was impressed. We drove a lot of fast cars this week. We have. Like this is ton. just right up there with all of them. It is. It's the cheapest. Yeah. Wow. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. This thing's badass. It almost just feels like the whole thing's coming up a little bit, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, it not only it not only freaking sounds good, but it's wicked fast. Yeah. It's it's damn neat. I like it. One thing I noticed too is that after this aftermarket wheel, once in a great while that this will just squeak just a little bit. It wasn't bad. Yeah, they, I've, that seems like a lot of them are like that. Let's just uh, gonna go ahead and turn around and just take her for a cruise normal here. It's just so hard to do when they sound like this. <laughs> I know. You know? I know it is. It's not as fun just to putt them around. But if you want to putt it, you can do that too. There's 50 right there going up to 60. Yeah, it handles the road good. If you wanted a Sunday cruiser, it can. Or you just romp on it. But it is. It's a great driving car. And it's one of those cars that's not 75,000 where you're like, I'm just scared to just get on it. Exactly. You know? Yeah, you can have all, you can have, it's like a, you can have guilt free fun with it. Guilt free fun. I like yep. that. All right, check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.